right, so speaking so. of the 49ers, we have mm-hmm. a QB change. Yeah. And one of our favorite people that we've been Jeez. talking about this entire season for reasons that aren't really football related. <laughs> Colin Kaepernick gets the start. Yes. In Buffalo. Yeah. Kaepernick starting in Buffalo. Uh, honestly, I think what they're doing... Blaine Gabbert was never a good quarterback. I mean, you see him in Jacksonville. He was terrible. Granted, Jacksonville was also a bad fucking team. But <laughs> it's still, like this guy is not a good quarterback. I, and I think Kaepernick did so bad that they just didn't want him around. They paid him so much money that they kind of just wanted him to go away and then bring in Chip Kelly. You'd think that he would be more willing to play for a guy like Chip Kelly because that runs his style of offense. Or Chip Kelly wants a read option quarterback, a mobile quarterback who could run the ball, do these things. Right. You know, that, that's literally... We look at, at the read option kind of started with Jim Harbaugh you know, and Kaepernick. You know, Russell Wilson does it too, and he's the only one that really still does it with some kind of success. But Kaepernick was really the guy who did it, and, and he, made him, he made it look good, you know, especially in that playoff game against Green Bay. So you think that he would have taken more to Chip Kelly? That obviously did, wasn't the case. He wanted out. So I think they were reluctant to start him. Then he did this whole stupid thing with the whole national anthem. They actually restructured his deal, right? So he started, but he's pretty much starting – where he has a player option for next year. He pretty much is leaving $14 million on the table for next year, but he's going to want to get a, a long-term deal. I, I doubt with the utmost certainty that they are going to re-sign him. I think they want to just get rid of him, yeah. put him in the rear view, and not look back. They're going to draft a new QB. Um, I, I couldn't even tell you who it would be right now, but they're going to go after... Uh, a QB probably in this year's draft because you know they're probably going to be drafting in the top five because they're just fucking a bad team Yeah. so really <laughs> this is just Kaepernick auditioning for a new contract probably somewhere else yeah. me personally I kind of hope he gets killed by the Bills defense I just kind of hope they, they pound him Listen, uh, <laughs> but then again, the Bills are in the same division as the Jets, so I kind of don't want That to. makes sense, but I would hold my breath on that because, you know, Ryan Fitzpatrick's really shit in the bed. Yeah. And you know for a fact, this is Geno Smith's contract year two. Yeah. So you know your Jets are good. They're they, going to they a quarterback. They, they're, 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 they're not going to pay Ryan Fitzpatrick again. Oh, they gave him $12 million, which was a waste of fucking money because they're going to be a bad team, which makes no sense because their defense alone should have won them at least three games this yeah, year. Yeah, their defense is But like they find ways to lose. And Fitzpatrick throwing fucking interceptions s- like it's candy to fucking children isn't helping. But Colin Kaepernick is definitely going to be a candidate for I the not. Jets I hope not. this coming offseason. Really and I'm telling you, he's young enough. I mean, they have some bad contracts. I mean, Darrell Rebus... <laughs> should not be making the type that was, of money. That was a years. fan base move. Oh, no, yeah, That's 100%. Was that was all PR. Because, although, the first year and a half that he was here, like when he came back, he was playing good. It's really just been the last, I don't know, year that he's kind of been shitting the like, bed. Uh, you know, you don't hear, like, Rebus Island talk anymore. It's just like, oh, there's, there's Rebus. Yeah, no, their secondary is <laughs> just plain and simple. And besides Leonard Williams, their fucking star studded uh, D line has honestly underperformed 100%. Yeah, they, were, they were supposed to be top five defense this year. Top I think they're three. Like, they're like 23 or, or something. They, they had that one great game where they had seven sacks. Since then, they, they haven't done shit. They're, they're just a bad team. The Giants are a bad fucking team. The only good thing the Giants have out of their $200 million fucking defense is Janaris Jenkins. He's the only one really doing anything. They've totally shit the bed the last three weeks. Yeah, because... You got a lot of problems there too, especially starting with you know Odell Beckham Jr. Oh, being well, old, that's baby. just fucking. That just be, you know what's funny to me. <laughs> Odell Beckham Jr. <laughs> well, besides that, um, all right, so they play this past Sunday, right? Play Green Bay, right? They play yeah. Green Bay. Okay, yeah. they lost, lost that game. Why I touched that. Yeah, they lost that game. Now, there was one thing I really caught on to. Now they lost that game. People in that locker room should be upset, right? You lost. Odell Beckham Jr. Catches his touchdown because he hasn't caught a touchdown since last year. So he runs over. He hugs the goalpost. He's all happy. Yeah, he's kissing. You know, goalpost. he's having fun now again. You're having fun now because you caught a touchdown. Yeah, but your team's losing. But your team lost. 
Right. So, uh, so it speaks volumes back to the whole selfish thing. It's like, dude, what are you doing? It really like, does. Like, yeah, you, you caught a touchdown, but you should be mad. You should be like, who cares about catching a touchdown? Like, fucking lose. Yeah. Like, he cares more about the number on his jersey rather than what the jersey represents. Exactly. And that's a problem with any team in any sport. And speaking of another sport, let's move into something I'm reluctant to get into, mm-hmm. which is baseball. Okay. Now, since that Met playoff game, the one wild card game, yeah, um, I pretty much buried myself away from all the media talk about what's going on with baseball. Because mm-hmm. if there's no New York sports involved, I don't care about baseball. I don't. That's just too slow for me. The playoff format doesn't make sense, you know, from yeah, me, no. I'm a hockey guy. I just I don't really care. So why, why don't you tell me what's going on? Because I hear whispers and it sounds oh. exciting, but I don't really know. So the Cubs moved on. Right, they had some good games. They really did against the Giants. They advanced. Um, Boston got swept, which I'm so happy about. By the Indians. By the Indians, and the even better part is Terry Francona, the coach of the Indians, who used to coach um, the Red Sox. You know, coached them to two World Series victories. You know, and then they just tossed him aside like he was fucking moldy bread. <laughs> you know, like he. Wait, swept you don't eat moldy bread? I mean, not only on occasions. It really depends. You know, something wrong with I love blue cheese, though. So, yeah. So, it, it was great to see that, although I really don't want Cleveland to win. Um, who else? The Blue Jays manhandled uh, Texas, the Rangers. That was pretty embarrassing on their part. Um, so, now it's Blue Jays, Indians. Uh, they'll play each other. For the uh, American League Championship. And uh, tonight is game five. It's do or die for the Nationals, who you should hate, you know, being in the Mets division. And the fact that Daniel Murphy is tearing it up. Uh, yeah, they should have resigned. Against. Uh, fuck, who are they playing? Yeah. Oh, the Dodgers. LA and Dodgers. it's. Uh, they have Matt Scherzer pitching the Nationals against uh, Rich Hill. Whatever fucking this guy's name is. First, I don't know. All first of all, it's baseball. Okay. The second uh, I can't even remember fucking <laughs> his, his name. But what I do know is that he has an 0 and 2 record and like an 8 point something ERA in the postseason. That's what I do know about the guy. It, it's going to be hard for the Dodgers to pull this out when you got the guy who is probably the Cy Young for the National League pitching against you. And you got a guy who's going to finish probably no more than second in the MVP race in Daniel Murphy. So it, it's going to be hard for them to pull this one out. It's probably looking like it's Dodgers Cubs uh, National League Championship. Okay. Uh, Those are baseball. Yeah, that, I mean that game's on tonight, so we'll see. Going into uh, can't wait till baseball's over. Concentrate on Rangers. Honestly. I, I don't know who I want to win. I, I couldn't tell you. I mean, it'd be cool to see the Cubs win. I'm going I'm to say the Cubs just because uh, San Francisco beat the Giants, uh, beat the Mets. So you want the, the team I that want beat the team them. that beat yeah, them nah, to gotcha. win. So yeah. it's like, well, at least if we went up against them, we would have got slaughtered too. You know, it's kind yeah, of nice. yeah, no. Similar to the Rangers last season in the playoffs, lost to Pittsburgh, and they went on to win the Cubs. Hey, yeah. like, it just well, softens okay. the blow. Yeah, yeah it softens yeah. the blow. Obviously, it still stinks, but yeah, it, it. it softens the blow. But let's, let's move into hockey. 